Ron, thank you for joining us this morning at Pool Pleasure. Foot Farm. I guess it's really good to get back with the players and oh, uh, share the memories. Brilliant. Brilliant. And I guess when you look at the when you're outside on the uh, field as well, you see the form of the players now. You must want cause something inside. You must want to be out there yourself, joining them in the training session. Well, I was just watching them in the first ten minutes. I could keep up with them. <laughs> first ten minutes. But after that, no. <laughs> but you look at the facilities as well, Andy Pillies. This oh, amazing pool hut farm. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The man must be good. He's brainy, isn't he? Brainy man. It certainly is. Really, uh, again, and what he's done on the, off the field, bringing Fleetwood up to the League One, again, oh, so impressive, cannot, isn't you it? You cannot believe it. You cannot believe what he's done. Unbelievable. And it's so close to the Championship last season as well, Fleetwood Absolutely. Town. It's no props do it next year because he'll, he'll move things. He'll move things. He'll move some of the players out and move players in and so on. It's exciting times at the club as well. As oh, a, no doubt. I as mean, this, this setup is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. It's better than Blackpool's, isn't it? Blackpool's. <laughs> and you look as well, as exciting times, a new manager coming in for the start of next season sure. as well, Joey Barton. Sure. Again, the chairman's showing a bit of ambition, isn't he, to maybe get this club into the championship and whoever knows, maybe the premiership one day. Absolutely, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. It, it'll not be satisfied until it happens. Rest assured. And a bit about yourself, when did you get involved with Fleetwood Town Football Club? 1949. 49. And what position did you play? Fullback. Attacking fullback, or you were more of a defensive one and the ball player. <laughs> ball player. Yeah. Ball player. Yeah. Any promotions in your time at Fleetwood? No, uh, it moved about a bit. They come up and then went down again, you know, and so on. Quite some good stories actually. What happened with local lads actually uh, at Fleetwood? Yeah, expand on those stories. Okay. Uh, the man that was in charge at the time, Albert Falls. <laughs> he had a dream. It wouldn't work today, but he had a dream, and he wanted local lads in the team with two or three professionals, and he did that. So they let him have his head, and we ended up halfway up the table. The chairman came out the next year. He said, "That's no good to us. We want something better than that." So he got rid of everybody. But it's a reverse reserve team. Got rid of everybody. Signed about six professionals that. Are just about finishing the time at uh, Accrington, Burnley, Blackburn, about six professionals, he went down and had to apply for the election. Okay. You know, and the first the first year of course Fleetwood lads kept him up. You know, so that was the story there. It's amazing, isn't it? It really happens back then, but again coming to these events, it's growing each month. Oh, you get sure. to share some great memories and memorabilia. Sure. Sure. Well uh, I have a good story, but you've no time, have you? <laughs> we can talk, we can talk as long as you want. No time. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, it's not about me, this is not about me, this is, uh, this is against me. I turned up one day, I'd watch Wigan and Fleetwood, combination cup final, they drew 1-1 one, one at Springfield Park, right? Come back, replay the two days after, replay, uh, I got a not no, you're in. So Full back had got injured, I was on a reserve then. Pulled back and got injured. I went there and played against Wigan. Big day for me. Went to the, I used to go down early to do my studs and everything to get warmed up. Half past five I went down, it was seven o'clock kickoff. They said, you can't come in here. It, it, we don't open the turnstiles till seven o'clock as I'm playing. <laughs> he said, oh, you can't, you can't come in here. He says, only players entrance. So, so he won't let us in. So I went round the other side. Uh, to the Park Avenue gates, and uh, I said the same thing. He said, no, you can't come in here. I said, I'm playing. He said, no, no, it's only players, there's a player's entrance there. He said, that's all, you can't come in. So I said, here, I said, I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> Pleading with him, <laughs> you're getting on a bit. I said, let me climb over the turnstiles. And I climbed over the turnstiles, <laughs> gave him half a crown, this fella that was the back of the thing, taking the money. Half a crown again, and this is no kidding. I jumped over the fence, did my studs and everything, and this is no kidding. When I went out, I was only amateur then, and they called me into the office and said, Come here. And they gave me a little envelope, and they had it like this, this secretary. And then it was five shilling, 25p. I'd already paid half a crown to get in. So, and this is the, this is the thing. After the game, he <laughs> carried me so shoulder high across the pitch. This is no kidding. Yeah. And threw me over the park wall. I just thought I'd had that. <laughs>
yeah, right. It wouldn't happen those days, would no, it? Well, no, nowadays, no, would no, it when no, players are no, so known on totally social media and all that totally stuff? Totally different, man. Yeah, totally different. Well, Ron, I appreciate you taking time today to speak yeah. to us. It's, thank you very much. Pleasure.